Hello students, welcome to Vyas Certification Quota. In this series of NCRD discussion, we'll continue further with the chap with Mathematics Class 11, the chapter of Conic Sections. And today is the turn of exercise number 11.3 that we'll be dealing over here. This particular exercise, as we said in the previous session also, uh, this is based on the topic ellipse, right? And the standard forms of ellipse, various standard forms of ellipse, there are two standard forms and the exercise is based on finding the uh, various various things related to the ellipse standard form that is foci, major axis, minor axis, vertices, lattice rectum, eccentricity and all of those things, right? So along with the questions, we'll be seeing the concepts related to those questions as well, right? Let's begin with the first question here. The question says, in each of the exercises 1 to 9, find the coordinates of the foci, okay? Foci are important, vertices are important, A, the length of major axis, minor axis, okay, major and minor axis are important, 2A, 2B, length of major axis, minor axis, eccentricity and the length of lattice rectum, eccentricity is also important, length of lattice rectum, all of these things are required, right? Now, we have two standard forms of the ellipse, let me deal with both of those forms, both the forms over here, here, right? If the major axis lies along the x-axis, this is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is the center, which is the origin as well, right? So if we have x square upon a square plus y square upon b square equals 1, this is the equation of ellipse where a is greater than b, then the x-axis will be the major axis and these points will be the vertices of this ellipse, right? Okay, the other form is this. Here, Equation will look similar. Equation will be x square by b square plus y square by a square equals 1. And once you observe this, here once again, the denominator of y square is bigger as compared to the denominator of x square. So, we'll get this kind of ellipse. This is vertical ellipse and this is a horizontal ellipse. Okay. Here also, I have written under y square, I have written a and if you observe, this a is greater than B for this one, right? So, what are the properties of these, right? The foci will lie on this major axis over here, okay? The vertices are these. Major axis will be this length 2A. Minor axis will be this length 2B over here, okay? What else? Lattice rectum will be 2B square upon A, right? So, let me write those things. Lattice rectum will be 2B square upon A over here. This is important, right? Okay. And what else? Foci. Foci will be plus minus C comma 0. And what about the value of C? C is equal to C square will be equal to A square minus B square for this case, right? This is what we have. Okay. And uh, in this particular question, you can observe that A is greater than B lattice rectum will be equal to what? First of all, let's analyze. This will be the minor axis. This will be the major axis. And the foci will be here on this major axis, right? These will be the vertices. These will be the vertices, the coordinates of the vertices. Denominator of y will decide that 0, comma a, 0, comma minus a, okay? This is 0, comma c, 0, comma minus, sorry, 0, comma plus c and 0, comma minus c. These will be the foci. The ends of minor axis will be b comma 0, 0 comma, sorry, minus b comma 0. This is what you have. Major axis will be this 2a, minor axis will be 2b. If you observe here also, this will be a comma 0. This is minus a comma 0 and major axis will be 2a. Minor axis will be 2b, right? Foci will be 0 comma plus minus c. Lattice rectum here as well, the lattice rectum will be 2b square upon a. Hey, don't make a mistake over here. Lattice rectum will be 2b square upon a. Foci will be on the y-axis, 0, comma plus minus c, right? And here, c square is again equal to a square minus b square, right? This is what we have. Anything else? Vertices, you can identify the vertices in each of these. This is a, comma 0, and here the vertices, 0, comma a, 0, comma minus a. Those are the few things that we have with regards to the ellipse in standard form, right? Those are some concepts which are useful, right? Which are useful and which will be used to solve such a question. 
So, for this one x square upon 36 plus y square over 16 equals 1, do you observe that the denominator of x square is greater than the denominator of y square? Yes. So, yes, this will be a horizontal ellipse. Okay. If this is a horizontal ellipse, can we identify the other few things? Yes. Let us identify the values of a. a square is 36, a will be equal to 6. b square is equal to 16, which implies that b will be equal to 4. Those are two important things. On the basis of this, c square, which is equal to a square minus b square, can be identified. What is that? a square minus b square, which will be 36 minus 16, this will be 20. This will give me c square is equal to 20 or c, simply the magnitude of c. If you want to find the magnitude of c, this will be equal to 2 square root of 5. This is c for us, right? One more thing which is required is eccentricity. Eccentricity is equal to c by a. Eccentricity is simply c by a which tells me that eccentricity will be equal to 2 root 5 upon 6. This is the eccentricity for horizontal ellipse. What about in case of vertical ellipse? Once again, you can have c by a over here as well, right? The lengths c and a will be important for finding the eccentricity, right? What else? So, once we have identified a, b and c, we can easily say focus, axis, vertices, coordinates of the foci, the vertices, vertices, these are the vertices, right? The major axis, the minor axis, we can easily identify those things. We have found the eccentricity. One more thing remains, lattice rectum. With the help of B and A, we can find the lattice rectum as well. Yes, those are some things which are easily found after having this much information in mind. So, let me write the answer after this. The final answer that can be written over here will be foci. Foci will be plus minus c comma 0. So, plus minus 2 root 5 comma 0. These will be the foci for this horizontal ellipse, right? Next, vertices, the vertices. So, vertices will be plus minus a comma 0, that is plus minus 6 comma 0. One of them is plus 6 zero, zero plus 6 comma 0, the other is minus 6 comma 0. Next, Major axis, the major axis can be written over here, major axis, which is 2a will be equal to 12, okay. What about the minor axis, minor axis which will be 2b, minor axis will be 2b, this length over here, this is 2b and that will be equal to 8, okay. Eccentricity, we have already found the eccentricity, this is the eccentricity and one last thing remains and that is the lattice rectum which will be 2b square upon a, okay. I am writing this, this, this and the lattice rectum which will be 2b square, 2 times b square upon a, 2 times 16, that is 32 upon 6 which is 16 by 3. In this question, this is the lattice rectum and yes, that is the answer for this question, right this, this, this and this. Right, that's the final solution for this complete question based on the two standard forms of the ellipse. Here we required the horizontal ellipse and maybe in the next few questions we'll see this vertical ellipse as well and then I'll directly draw this diagram or this diagram, right? So that's the complete solution for this first question. I'll get aside for a bit so that you can take a look at this complete solution and now we'll be taking a look at the next question.